within Europe, Chester Zoo coordinates the Eastern Black Rhino EEP. At the moment, there's around 24 different collections around Europe who hold that species. Within those collections, there's between 90 and 100 animals. What we have to do as part of managing the programme is ensure that these animals are moved around to different collections to ensure that everybody gets an equal chance of breeding and to make sure that we don't end up with animals that are inbred or with a population that loses its genetic diversity. When genetic diversity is high, we see, um, we see things like a higher reproduction rate, we see better clutch and litter sizes, higher survival rate. And also it means natural selection is able to play a part. When genetic diversity is low, all those things decrease. So we end up with uh, unhealthy um, genetic and demographic populations. For each species that is managed in zoo populations, there is a stud book. A stud book is basically a collection of records um, of a species in an ex situ population. And within that population, there will be the animals that are alive today, but also all the ancestry. From the data that we have in the stud book, we have a pedigree. When we have pedigree data, family tree data, for a whole population of, for example, rhinos in Europe, we can work out exactly how related every animal is to each other. This is something that we call kinship, um, and we can actually calculate something called the mean kinship, we use something called Zims for stud books, which manages all of the stud book data. I then export the data out of it to another software called PMX, which I use to analyze the genetic diversity, the inbreeding coefficients. We can work out some averages for how related every single animal is to each other. And from that, we can ensure that the animals that we breed together are those that are least related to each other. That means that we maintain as much genetic diversity as possible. So for example, if we, uh, we could look at a rhino, a male rhino in Germany with a female rhino in the UK, we can actually use the software to create a hypothetical offspring. Um, so we can look at that offspring and if it was produced, would it increase the genetic diversity of the whole population or would it decrease it? And we can look at the inbreeding coefficient between those two rhinos to see again, if by breeding them, would we increase or decrease the overall inbreeding of the population.